Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another monthly favorites. I feel like I just did these like two weeks ago because I've been gone for a little bit. Um, you guys have not seen this vlog. Oh no, you will, no, you will not have seen the vlog yet. Um, I had a little personal medical issue going on at the beginning of this month. Um, so I was gone for a little bit again. It's just been one thing after another for me recently. So um, I'm hoping I can be back in more of a regular routine now. Hopefully all the craziness is behind me. But I wanted to still share some of my favorites in this past month. I don't have a lot of new stuff because I obviously was like going through something. So I didn't try a lot of new stuff, but I have a few things that like really, I used a lot the past month and helped me feel better about myself. Um, so I want to share those with you. I have a little bit of like beauty stuff, some skincare, some makeup, and then I have a couple lifestyle things. Um, so let's start with the beauty and makeup because that is always my favorite. Let's start with makeup in particular. First of all, these viral elf camo liquid blush things that everyone and their mother are talking about. Sorry, I'm still trying to like get my film in right so give me a little bit i love these two i have two shades i have um peach perfect and bronze bombshell i feel like i've talked about these a lot in the few videos i did post this month and for good reason first of all the price point is amazing they're like seven bucks a piece it's a huge shade range you can definitely find a color that works for you and your purposes um so that's awesome second of all they are so super pigmented. Like you really do not need a lot at all. Let me show you the bronze bombshell because it's a little bit easier to see. Um, the peach perfect one is very subtle, at least on my skin tone. So you can see it there, but like as I blend it out, that is just, it's so pigmented. So I love these. They stay really well. They look beautiful on the skin. They're not super like matte or anything but they're also not like glowy they're kind of just like a perfect in between they look really natural like you just have a natural flush of color on your cheeks I love that um I like the peach perfect one for kind of like an everyday sort of subtle no makeup makeup look it's really nice I also like this one for an everyday makeup look if I don't want to put on bronzer and blush I'll just throw this on kind of where I put my bronzer and blush and it kind of looks like two in one because it's a nice deep bronzy shade so I love these. I've been using them a lot. They're in my everyday makeup bag and that is how you know I like them. The other thing that I've been having in my everyday makeup bag that this might be cheating a little bit on being new, but I'm obsessed. I talked about this in um, a video where I was like trying out things and I didn't know this existed and I'm so glad I found it. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. However, this is the curved brush one. Okay, the curved brush, let me tell you, this is game changer for me. So I love the, um, the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara formula. That is what makes it so great. This brush makes it even better. It really like lifts and volumizes your lashes. I'm not wearing it today. I'm actually wearing a different mascara today, surprisingly. But this really like lifts and elongates your lashes. They look so good. I feel like that curve brush just really steps up the voluminous mascara to like another level which I love and I've been obsessed with it again it's living in my everyday makeup bag I've always loved L'Oreal voluminous but the curve it's perfect now I will never go back to the regular one love the curve all right let's go to skincare I have one for like your face and one for your body let's start with the one for your face this isn't again new to me by any means but it's something I love and I was mixing up my skincare routine and I was like, you know what? I should try that again. And I still love it. I feel like my skin looks amazing when I use it. This is the Natrium Vitamin C Serum. Sorry, I'm like trying to, like I said, I'm still trying to get used to this. Um, this is their Vitamin C Complex Serum. It has hyaluronic acid and vitamin C in it. I love this vitamin C serum. I just feel like my skin looks so much more bright, more bright. It looks so much brighter and glowier. It just looks like more even and everything. And I just love this. It feels so good going on the skin. It's so hydrating, but the vitamin C in there really works to, you know, help fight those free radicals and do all that great stuff. So I like to use this in the morning after my azelaic acid. 
but before my cream and my sunscreen. And vitamin C is great in the morning when you're using it with a, vi with a sunscreen. It really helps to like protect against sun damage and all that good stuff. And I really, really love the Naturium one. I've tried their um, other one that has vitamin C in it, but I think it has retinol as well. I don't remember, but um, I love this one. Naturium has again, great price points. I'm, I think this one's like 20 bucks, which for a vitamin C serum really isn't that bad for like a really good one. I think the La Roche-Posay one's like 45 bucks, so almost half the price. Um, and I love this one. I love that I can just go to Target and grab it too. I don't have to like order it special from everywhere. Um, it has a pump and I just love this vitamin C. I'm so glad I'm like reincorporating vitamin C back into my skincare routine. Um, my skin has really been liking it, so this is great. And then the other kind of skincare thing I've been loving has been for my body. It's the um, cocoa butter, the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Therapy Oil. I love this stuff. Um, it feels really good on the skin. It is a little bit greasy, but I notice that my skin just feels so much more hydrated and smooth when I use this. Um, it claims to like, you know, help with scarring and all that stuff. I don't know about that. I just think it feels really good on the skin. My only problem with it is I have talked about this before. I don't really like the smell of cocoa butter products, like especially the Palmer's one. They always kind of smell like gross chocolate sort of thing to me. It's just not my favorite smell in the world. Um, so that's kind of my only gripe with it. I don't think it has any fragrance in it. Oh, it does have fragrance. Interesting. I just don't like love the smell of this body oil, but I do like the way it feels and how it goes on my body. And I also like the price point of it. Body oils are expensive for some reason, which makes no sense to me because most of them are just like carrier oils with other things in them. Um, but I really like this one. I think it feels really good on the skin. I'm sure there are way better um, body oils out there, but again, I like the price point of this one, the ease of this one. I just, it's a good basic body oil. So this has been great, especially on my dry skin. It's been so dry here in Colorado. Like no matter how much water I've drank, I feel like my lips are always chapped. My skin is always dry. It's just one of those times of the year in Colorado. The other thing I've been loving for my skin, and again, dry skin, my under eyes have felt very dry. I haven't been sleeping well. I need a little boost of something underneath my eyes. And I've been loving these Good Molecule Caffeine Energized Hydrogel Eye Patches for that. These are great. Oops. Um, again, there are probably more luxurious eye pouches out there, but I like the price point of these ones. Good Molecules just makes good skincare at a great price point you can get a whole routine for a very good price at, from Good Molecules, which I love. And these are like, you know, kind of like an extra thing, a feel good thing. You definitely don't need eye patches in your skincare routine. And I don't use them every day, but when my under eyes are feeling dry and tired, a little puffy, I didn't get great sleep, maybe I have darker under eye circles. These are great for just like a quick hydration little rescue. I really like these. I'll just kind of show them to you. I don't know why all the eye patches come with these little like spoon madu guys. I don't understand that at all. They don't really work but you know they're just they're nothing crazy. They're not like a fancy color. They don't have any like crazy ingredients in them or anything. They're just a nice hydrating serum that gives you a little boost underneath the eyes. Um, I know some of the reviews say that people feel like they're like greasy and they like peel up under, peel up under makeup. I haven't noticed that for me personally, um, but I kind of let them go until I can just like rub in the extra serum. It's all really absorbed. So maybe it's just how I'm using them, but um, I really like these. All right, the last kind of beauty thing is a hair thing. Again, going along with that, everything's been dry. My hair has also felt very dry recently. So a good hair mask is a must. I know I've talked about this one before, but I want to talk about it again. This is the Way Hair Moisturizing Mask for fine to medium hair. Sorry, I'm like really struggling here today, people. Um, and it's not, does it not want to focus? Come on. All right, I don't know why it doesn't want to focus, but this is the, like I said, this is their fine to medium hair. This is their treatment mask. This is expensive, but you don't need a lot of it. And it makes your hair feel so, so good. It's so hydrating. 
so nourishing. I love the smell of whey products. I think they just, they really nail it. It's not like too overwhelming, but it smells like you've just left a high-end salon and I love that. Um, like I said, it is expensive, but totally worth it. It really hydrates and moisturizes your hair and my hair just always feels so soft afterwards. I actually used it yesterday um, and my hair feels so, so good, even curly like this. I feel like usually when I let it be curly, it feels a little drier than like if I were to blow dry it and like straighten it or whatever, but it feels so soft and smooth right now and I just love it and this mask is awesome. So if you're looking for a good mask and you want to treat yourself a little bit, this is a great one. They also have one for like more textured, coarser hair, so check that one out too if you have that hair texture, but this works great for my hair type. All right, the last two things are both lifestyle things. I don't have them with me because one, I cannot pick up. It's actually behind me. I don't know if you can see it in the background down here somewhere. I don't think you can, um, but I recently got a walking pad from Amazon and I love it. It's not super expensive. It's a great price point. When I bought it, there was like a coupon for it too. And I have been loving it. It doesn't go, um, it doesn't incline at all. And it only goes to four miles per hour. That's perfect for me because I'm not gonna like run on it or anything. So I love it. I've been using it every morning. I use it on the weekends as well. And it's just such a great addition to like my wellness routine and getting myself to like move my body a little bit more. And I've been loving it. Like I said, I use it every morning for like 20 minutes. It's just a great, easy way to get more movement in my day without having to take up like a ton of space with another piece of equipment. Um, I could definitely see myself eventually getting like one that inclines or something too, but for now I really like it. I could always add like ankle weights or something to make it harder, but it is amazing. If you've been looking for a walking pad, I think this is a good one. I haven't had it a super long time, so I can't tell you about like the longevity of it. But so far, so good, and I really, really like it. It comes with a little remote. It's over there somewhere. So you don't have to, like, bend down or do anything weird, but I really, really like it, um, and it's been totally worth it. And then to go along with that is a pair of tennis shoes. I'll pop a picture of them up here because I did not want to grab them out because Tahoe, my sweet dog, who is laying back there, if I bring out my shoes that are for W-A-L-Ks, he will get excited and crazy. So I didn't bring them down with me, but I'll pop a picture of them here. These are the Nike. I believe they're the Pegasus ones. I got them at the outlets for like 60 bucks. Um, and they're very comfortable. They are a little more narrow. So if you have a wider foot, these probably would not be for you, but I really like them. I think they're very comfortable. I definitely need a new walking shoes. Cause when I put these on, I was like, Oh, there's the arch support. <laughs> um, but I really like to buy like running shoes or something like that for walking purposes. And I just only use them for like when I'm on my walking pad or I'm uh, walking outside with Tahoe, something like that. Um, but these are very comfortable. I just got like them in the plain black color. So they go, we'll, we'll go with all my like workout clothes and stuff like that. But they're super comfortable. If you're looking for a good pair of walking shoes, I really like these. And like I said, I got them with the outlets for super cheap. So that is also great. So yeah, that is all my favorites from this month. Like I said, it's been a weird one for me, but definitely excited to like get back into things. We have some travel coming up in February, which I'm really excited about. So a lot of good stuff coming. Thank you for sticking with me and supporting me as I go through some weird times. I really, really appreciate you all. So yeah, I think that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to have you join our little adventure family here. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I'll see you in my next adventure. Bye.